So, I understand you went to a museum in Pittsburgh. I went to, Andy Warhol was born in Pittsburgh, and they have a museum dedicated to him there. And oh, I that's why. I was like, why on God's green earth would they have an Andy Warhol museum in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, of all places? Okay, so I guess he was born there. Uh, Andy Warhol is a legendary scam artist in, in American history. Uh, <laughs> And he would do things that were totally full of shit and uh, call it art, and idiots would pay for it. Uh, all you art freaks, go ahead, email me. I'm a bad guy. It's my old conservative tradition. La 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 la. Young Turk, the Young Turks dot com. Go ahead and email me there. Uh, and and look, I've seen some Warhol pieces that were intriguing, right? The Marilyn Monroe stuff, a couple of things where I was like, oh, okay, I get it. He's making an interesting point there. The ninety percent of it is crap. All right. Now, well, speaking of crap, what exactly did you see at the museum? Did well, uh, Warhol had a big studio where he hung out with a lot of other artists. He called it the factory, and one of these guys, I think his name was Carson, I forget his first name, uh, had a suggestion for Warhol: a rectal realism, oh, cool. in which he would, he wanted to, he asked Andy Warhol if he could paint him by putting a paintbrush in his rectum and bending over, and drawing a, a portrait of Warhol. Okay, 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 okay. And Warhol, of course, agreed because he was a scam artist and he just loved to exploit all these people in the seediest manner possible. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on. And they actually videotaped it. So you have this hairy... Oh, no, 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 I didn't know that. They videotaped it? Yeah, they had a videotape. The guy was in his underwear, partially pulled down. He would bend over with the brush sticking out behind and he would attempt to paint, just like that elephant painting the guy in Thailand, except he was using his anus. Oh come on! Oh come on! And how did the painting come out? Who's who's a better painter, the rectal painter or the elephant? Well, the painting came out fine, except for the face. It was just like a blank, yellowish, whitish splotch. But his clothes and his bodily shape, his shoulders, his head were all there. But there was no detail in the face. Of course, he had the paintbrush up his ass. Did he, did he, did he, you know, add to the art by farting every once in a while, and you know? I think the contribution to art history is normally in art you have painter, canvas, subject. In this case, it's reversed. You have canvas, painter, subject. So the painter and the artist are actually closer. It's a more intimate connection. You don't have the canvas in between you. Uh, okay, uh, right, <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> Oh, God, this is a funny country. I love this country. I mean, who would think that you wander into a museum in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to see ass paintings? <laughs> what a blessed country. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't say goddamn America. I say God bless America.